No matter what CAM software package you are using, the program will have some method for the programmer to simulate the cutting operations before creating the NC code that will ultimately be run on the machine tools controller. This simulation step tells the programmer what the computer thinks the program will do, and it allows the programmer to troubleshoot and debug programs that might otherwise crash the machine tool during operation. It's been my experience that all programmers eventually learn that crashing the computer is much cheaper than crashing the machine tool. Later in this series, we'll look in detail at the simulations and simulation parameters, but for now, in this getting started exercise, we're just going to look at a couple of the options. Before you run the simulation, you should make sure that the properties window is open. If your simulation toolbar is not visible, you can go to view toolbars and make sure that the checkbox next to the simulation is checked. To run the simulation, you simply need to click the run button on the toolbar. If you need to, you can use the slider to adjust the speed of the simulation, and you can even pause and single step through the program. To restart a simulation, simply press the stop button and then play, pause, or the single step button. When you're playing the simulation or stepping through it, you'll see that the properties window can show you information about the tool, like tool number and tool ID, as well as the current XYZ location of the tip of the tool relative to the work coordinate system. 